Tony Stewart won the NASCAR Sprint Cup Championship in grand style last night by coming from behind and winning at Homestead just one second over Carl Edwards. I'm Michelle Rahal with Motorsports Unplugged and MotorsportsUnplugged.com. This Monday morning motorsports report is brought to you by Cat Protective Eyewear. Style with the benefit of eye protection. With 20 great styles to choose from and all under $15, why wait? Click on the banner at the top of the website and order a pair or two. Cat Protective Eyewear, engineered to the core. Tony Stewart didn't walk away with this championship. It was a fight right down to the wire with Carl Edwards. Stewart fought his way back to the front more than once last night in the best racing duel I've seen in NASCAR. It doesn't get any more competitive than this championship. Stewart not only won the championship, but he did it as an owner. That hasn't happened since 1992 when Alan Kulwicki did it. NASCAR could not have written a better script than this. Wins counted for everything in this chase as the points were tied, but the wins Stewart had were the tiebreaker. All of us at MotorsportsUnplugged.com congratulate Tony Stewart, his crew chief Darian Grubb, and his whole team on a well-deserved third championship. And we're happy for the lucky fans that won our Homestead Ticket Contest and got to see the best race of the year. The season may be closing down on Formula One next week at Brazil, but all the teams have been working hard on their 2012 cars. No one wants to let Red Bull go on a run like Ferrari did with Schumacher especially Ferrari and McLaren. And now they've got Red Bull joining the fray after Sebastian Vettel took his second world championship earlier in the season. In the NHRA, the season is over, but you got it handed to these drivers. It was a tight, competitive season. Del Warsham took the top fuel title. That was close. Matt Hagen is the champion in funny cars. You would have thought that one of the force cars might have taken the title, but NHRA has become like NASCAR. When the countdown started, the complexion of the points battle changed. Jason Lyon nailed down his Pro Stock Championship earlier. Congratulations to him. And in Pro Stock Motorcycles, Eddie Krawick took the title. Not much downtime anymore in the major series. It's way too competitive to sit back. IndyCar is one to watch in 2012. I predict that the series is going to take an upward swing. New car, hopefully a resolution on the rules and race control. New teams three engine manufacturers, and new talent. IndyCar is a historical series, but history can't get in the way of keeping it relevant as a global sport. I believe that Bernard will make the changes necessary to put the series back on track to recoup many of the fans who have become disillusioned with the American Open Wheel Series. The Monday Motorsports Report has been brought to you by Cat Protective Eyewear. Cat, engineered to the core. I'm Michelle Rahal. I'll see you later this week.